This video is just to show you how to install PC case fans if you want any additional fans inside your, your PC. So first of all, this is just my, my PC here. Uh, I've only got one one fan at the front, right here. Uh, I can uh, install another additional one here. I'm going to install another three, but I've only got one at the moment. Uh, the other two are still in order. And I'm going to install the other two on the top. So my, my issue was that I, I didn't know how to power these fans. So I did trace out the cable uh, from this fan over here. Uh, it goes along over and up uh, to this little cable here, which does say system fan, as you can see there. So you just, all you do is unplug it. So my problem was the motherboard has only got one port for one fan. There are leads which uh, split into two but I want to add another 3 on, which is not good because it, it can blow it. Uh, the, the amount of power going through that one cable won't be good for it. To power the fans, I got this little thing here called Deep Cool. Uh, so what it's called is a, a fan hub. It comes with Velcro, a power cable and a PWM cable. I think the PMWM cable is to so the motherboard can communicate with the fan to speed up and slow it down. So this hub can take up to about 10 different fans, so here's the, the ports here, and there's some more on the other side. This is the fan that I bought, so I'll show you how to install this and the little power pack. So on your PC, I've already moved this side, I'll show you how to do it the other side, because that, that's where my power points are. Uh, if you look, that's your power, your power bank here. Those are the cables, the power cables, which all run in through your computer. So this is the graphics card, this is the power lead, the power in it. Uh, there's power cables, there's one up here doing the motherboard. So how do you remove the side? So everybody's computer is maybe a bit different, but if yours is the same as mine, up here is a little screw tab. Just unscrew that. One down the bottom here, just unscrew that as well. All you have to do is push that way and it pops off. So push, and it just pops off. So on my computer, I don't know how it's going to look in yours, I've got all these power cables, this is where it came through from the power bank over there, down and up. And this funny looking one is what you're going to use, these are like spare plugs, spare power plugs. So grab the power lead that comes with your hub, slot that in, it's a bit, hard, a bit tricky trying to do it with one hand, there you go. So once it's clicked firmly in, that's you, snug as a bug. So what I'm going to do with this cable now is just pass it through the gap over here and I'll show you why. So with my little fan hub it comes with sticky velcro so I'm going to stick it on the back here and up here I've got trays that aren't doing anything so I'm going to just stick, stick it in there. That's why the cable's up here as well and plug it in and that way it's out of sight because this side is glass and I can see inside it as well, so it keeps it out of the road and keeps it from getting tangled up in anything. So what you want to do now is get your PWM cable, the one with both the ends. Go up to where your, your fan your fan port is, up there, and just slot it on in. It can only go in one way. There you go, plugged in. So I can get the other end of the cable and pass it on into the hub and plug it all in. So what I'll do is I'll take it out and I'll do it down here. So it plugs in just like that, nice and easy. Only goes in a certain way. There's the other end with the two ports, which is your power. So here you go, that's it, both plugged in. Both marked up, CPU fan, that was, that's the one that goes to the motherboard. Here's the other one, SATA 12 volt, that's the one that goes to your power lead through the back. So here's the top view, so there's the fan there, as you can see that's the back side so that'll be blowing out the hot air. So all you need is a little Phillips screwdriver to just screw these little screws in, which will hold the, the fan in nice and snug. And once you've done that, just route your cable, which, so your little cable here, which is for the fan, so just tuck it on up, out of the road, into your fan hub. So I hope this video helps you out guys, uh, I know I was having trouble trying to figure out how to do this, I hope, this, I hope you see this video and it helps you either replace a fan or how to install other fans. So I'll put a little link in the description for the fans and the fan hub if you're not too sure what, what you're looking for or what to get. So I'll see you guys in the next video.